Hello folks, this is our fresh question. Uh, it is a February March session 2019 paper 1 2 and the question number is 36. It is concerned with the chapter of uh, current electricity. So it says that a cell of uh, internal resistance R and the electromotive force EMF E is connected in series with a resistance of a res uh, res resistor of resistance R. Uh, the resistance R and EMF E remain fixed, so they are constant. The inner resistance R of the cell changes over time, so over time it changes. Which graph shows uh, the uh, variation of the current I in the circuit with the internal resistance R? So we have to find I with R. Now the relation uh, uh, which relates all these things is equal to, so it will be equal to E is equal to I then R plus R. So I into total resistance of the circuit. So uh, in order to do this thing, so we have to express the relation as something I equal to uh, something or I can say uh, R equal to something. So let me do it as uh, E by I is equal to small r plus r, r plus r. So uh, let us put uh, certain values of r here. When we have a small r equal to 0, equal to 0, I have E by I, I is equal to r. Which means, which means I by E is equal to 1 by R and I is equal to E by R. So which is a certain definite value, a certain value there. Now if I <coughs> look at the graphs, uh, this graph disqualifies because it shows that uh, when R equal to 0, R equal to 0, I might extend up to infinity. So this thing disqualifies. Whereas all the other three qualify. Now when I have small r equal to infinity, when infinity means it goes like this, like this, like, like this. At that time, I will have E by I is equal to infinity plus R equal to infinity. So this gives me I by E equal to 0 or I is equal to 0 because E is a constant value here. Uh, it is not 0. So that means when R equal to infinity, I becomes 0. So if I go through the graphs, uh, in this case, I is never 0, never 0. So this disqualifies. In this case, uh, we have got... Uh, uh, I is zero. I becomes zero, but at that time, this R is not, this R is not going to infinity. So when R has got different value, I becomes zero. But here, along, uh, we, if I look at this graph, so when R becomes infinite, there is a chance that this I is becoming zero. So uh, when R equal to zero, I has got certain value, and when R equal to infinity, I becomes, I becomes ultimately it becomes zero. So that's why number b qualifies as the correct answer and choice number c disqualifies so the only remaining choice is choice number b